And now it's time for the interplanetary news. The head of the Council of Planets has announced today that he is to extend an invitation to the people of Earth to join the Galactic Federation. Here is what he had to say in his address that he was preparing for the people of planet Earth. People of Earth, prepare to feel my wrath. Prepare to be crushed like the maggots that you are. Prepare for destruction. Oh, uh, sorry, I think I've got the wrong speech here. Um, that's the one I worked out for my uh, daughter's wedding to welcome her husband to the family. Uh, better get the right one. One moment. Uh, oh yeah, right, ready. Uh, people of Earth, we extend the invitation to join, oops, join the, uh, Galactic Federation, and that entitles you to a Galactic Credit Card, and we we'll get the name that you to uh, free Galaxy Miles with every 100 singles that you spend. Aren't you the lucky ones? Yes! And then you have this statement by the, uh, uh, forgotten his name now, but by him. Um, now, for more, um, for more opinions on this matter, then we decided to ask the members of the public. First, we asked an evil dictator what he thought of the whole thing. At Earth, joining the Federation, yes, it is right for dictatorship, it is right to be taken over. I shall move in, yes, we shall lull them into a false sense of security, and I shall move in and I shall take over the world. <sighs> yes, because I am an evil dictator. Are you an evil dictator? Or perhaps you want to be an evil dictator? Is that right? In that case, come and visit the Evil Dictator Social Club. Third planet on the left. Happy hour between 7 and 8. See you there. What's been enough to advertise? Oh, God damn it! As well as asking an evil dictator for his opinions, we, uh, we also asked a psychop with lots of hair and no mouth what he thought of the whole matter. <laughs> Moving on to sports now, and as you probably know, today is the second day of the Interplanetary Olympics. So we now go over to Freddy Fowler, who is hopping over the sports desk to tell us all about it. Yes, hello and welcome to the sports desk. And, and um, excuse me, um, will you stop repeating everything I said while saying all the things at the same time as me? Very distracting. Who's doing this before, me or you? Yeah, well, very well, we'll both do it together if you're going to be like that. Yes, indeed. Yes. Um, as you probably know, um, well, as has been mentioned, it is in fact the second day of the Interplanetary Olympics, which is a very squeaky sort of event, uh, one might say. Anyway, um, yes, and it is taking place on the the, uh, the asteroid ZX Alpha Theta Beta 6, um, an asteroid so small that it doesn't actually possess um, its own name, uh, nor does it possess its own gravity. Now, uh, today's event was the, the high jump. Now, we're still waiting results, but the uh, the most recent result we heard last jump is, uh, well, three miles and uh, still rising. Yes, um, uh, will you, will, will you, uh, oh, shut up, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> yes, sir, thank you, that was Freddy Farmer's, um at the sports desk. And now, um, with the weather, we go up to Robert, who will tell us all about the weather for the region. Yes, yes, ah, today's weather. Well, what can I say? Oh, well, if it is fine in most areas, you will be glad to hear, but in the western structure of the galaxy, there are reports of, uh, meteorite showers. So do be careful there. Yes, indeed, be careful. Um, 
but also in the northern sector of the galaxy, um, there is much report of solar activity and heavy solar flares. So um, I would recommend uh, that you, uh, that you um, uh, put on a decent uh, sunblock, maybe factor 3446, might just prevent you being burnt to a crisp if you visit there. Yes, indeed. Now, um, there are reports coming in um, of a Siberian invasion fleet uh, approaching planet Svengor, and uh, as such, there are uh, likely um, forecasts of uh, intermittent showers of plutonium missiles. So I would recommend that you wrap up warm and don't forget to take an umbrella with you. Well, that's the weather over the studio. Um, oh, studio, well, well, uh, well. Oh, yes, over there. Uh, thank you, Robert, um, with the weather podcast, then. Uh, well, that's all the news we've got for now, really. So it's not a time now with the three year markups past a bit, bit. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy another episode of everyone's favourite soap opera, The Daleks. Daleks. Everybody needs good Daleks. If you need extermination and you haven't any stairs. Honey, I'm home. So soon. I did not expect you at this time. You said you were working late. You had lots of paperwork to do. Your boss gave you overtime. Not anymore, he didn't. Why is that? I exterminated him. Come on, dear. Give us a kiss. Ow, my eye. My vision is impaired. I cannot see. My vision is impaired. I cannot see. Don't be such a wuss. I'm sorry, dear. You're right. I think I shall go for a lie down. Do not go into the bedroom. How could you and in our own bed? Don't act so innocent. I know about you and the photocopier at work. The photocopier and I are just good friends. You have been more than friends ever since you photocopied your ass at the office Christmas party. you home so early? You should still be at school. They sent me home because I was sick. What was wrong with you? I had cramp in my sink plunger and spasms in my gun. What sort of spasms? I exterminated my headmaster. That's my boy. What did the nurse say? She said to go home and get some rest. And if I'm not better by the morning, she will call for the doctor. Oh, not the doctor! Daleks. Everybody needs good Daleks. If you need extermination, and you haven't any stairs,